Good morning and welcome to Morning Praise and Prayer this Wednesday morning in October. We're using the first service in the Methodist Book of Worship for Britain and in the order of morning prayer for the United Methodist Hymnal. Our prayer list is from Newark United Methodist Church for October 11th, 2020. O oh Lord, open our lips and we shall declare your praise. Loving God, we have come to worship you. Eternal God, hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, before we begin our work, we praise your glory. Renew our bodies as fresh as the morning flowers. Open our inner eyes as the sun casts new light upon the darkness. Deliver us from our all captivity. Like the birds of the sky, Give us wings of freedom to begin our journey. As a mighty stream running continuously, restore justice and freedom day by day. We thank you for the gift of this new morning and a new day to work with you. Amen. Our first scripture this morning is from the Philippians chapter 4 verses 1 through 9. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. I urge Euodia and I urge Syntyche to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I also ask you, my loyal companion, help these women, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my coworkers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, Whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. And now our psalm, Psalm 106, verses 1 to 6 and 47 to 48. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty doings of the Lord or declare all his praise? Happy are those who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favor to your people. Help me when you deliver them, that I might see the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory in your heritage. Both we and our ancestors have sinned. We have committed iniquity, have done wickedly. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. As we move into our time of thanksgiving, let us give thanks to God. For the love of our Father, the maker of all, the giver of all good things, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the world's beauty and the changing seasons, and for the life that we have been given, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and worked among us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection to new life, 
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for his rule over all things and his presence in the world. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for the Holy Spirit, the giver of life who teaches and guides us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for the grace of the spirit in the work of the church and the life of the world. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. For what are you grateful to God this day? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us lift up our concerns to God. Eternal God, loving parent, we pray for the church throughout the world, for this church and all who call it home, that in faith and unity we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may seek justice, freedom, and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those among whom we live and work, for all our neighbors, for those who have lost work, for families that have lost loved ones this week, for those who are finding it difficult to work from home, for those alone and who feel forgotten, for those affiliated with the University of Delaware, for those who are without a home or at risk of losing their home. For first responders, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, and support personnel. For organizations and volunteers who are feeding those in need. For students, teachers, administrators, staff, parents, and others who support them in this new school year. For local businesses struggling in these difficult times. For those facing food insecurity. For those who are in prison and their friends and family. For those with or suffering from the after effects of COVID-19. For individuals and families facing difficult decisions. And for those at this point, I'd like to lift up our president uh, and all those who are working around him um, and his wife as, as they face COVID-19 and uh, for our nation as, as we move through the pandemic um, that we might find, find the light at the end of the road uh, or tunnel. That we may so use your gifts that together we might find joy in your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety, or sickness, and for the cares of this community, for those struggling with drug and alcohol addiction, for those suffering with mental health issues, for everyone affected by the fires in our Western states, and especially for all the wildfire control personnel who are fighting a beast that likes of which no one has ever experienced. For the one in need of healing and peace after complications from foot surgery. For the one in need of healing after suffering a broken bone. For the police officer whose motorcycle went over the Conowingo Dam and landed in a grate who was critically injured. Also a prayer of thanks for the lady who witnessed it, called 911 and stayed with him until the police and ambulance arrived. Continued prayers of gratitude for successful recovery after liver transplant. 
for the young girl with non-COVID lung, lung infection. For the safety of those in the path of hurricanes this season. For those grieving the passing of a parent. For teachers and students who are struggling with school transition decisions in Red Clay School District. The family and friends of the Newark Charter family who tragically lost their daughter this week. Lift them up in God's love during this devastating time. I'd also add four, the other that we name aloud or silently. I'd also like to lift up the, the person who took the life and those who love that person. And it's just incredibly tragic, the whole situation. Uh, so much, so much loss. God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. We pray you accept and answer our prayers, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God, author of our salvation, keep your hearts and minds on that which is good, pure, true and just this day and always so that you might know peace and all you meet might know through your words and deeds that God's love endures forever. Amen. Amen. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You as well. <laughs>